Hi, I'm Mario and here are some of the top stories in the world of HIV and AIDS as we mark the pandemic's 30th year. In November, the US committed itself to creating the first AIDS-free generation using antiretroviral drugs. This can reduce the risk of passing on the virus by 96%. A recent Spanish study found that 22 out of 24 people developed an immune response to HIV after being given an VMB vaccine. If successful, HIV could become no more serious than herpes is today. In another study, people taking the HIV drug Raltegravir have shown fewer side effects and a higher CD4 gains than those taking Afavirans. Both drugs were taken alongside Tenofovir over a four-year period. On December 1st, Gilead launched the world's second single-pill daily HIV treatment in Europe. The EU Commission gave its approval for marketing of the drugs in November. And finally, in August, research announced a new drug that can scat out and kill numerous types of viruses. It's the first time a single drug has shown to work against a range of viruses, from HIV to the common cold. That's all from us today. Join us again tomorrow.